इंटरनेशनल डेस्टिनेशन के केस में स्पेशली बजट और टाइम दोनों ही लिमिटेड होता है सो वी वॉन्ट टू मैक्सिमाइज इट एज मच एज पॉसिबल एंड इफ वियतनाम इज योर नेक्स्ट डेस्टिनेशन आई होप दिस वीडियो हेल्प्स यू डू सो मैं वियतनाम में थी फॉर गुड टेन डेज ऑल दो ये कोई थम रूल नहीं है बट मैं फिर भी रिकमेंड करती हूँ कि आप एटलीस्ट टेन डेज तो लेकर चलो वेन यू आर विजिटिंग वियतनाम इट्स सच अ ब्यूटिफुल कंट्री हैज सो मच टू ऑफर अगर आप उससे कम जाते हो तो भी एटलीस्ट ट्राई टू हैव अ वीक देर एंड जो मैं आइटनरी शेयर करने वाली हूँ इस वीडियो में वो आप आराम से मोल्ड कर सकते हो फॉर वन वीक टेन डेज और इवन लेट से यू हैव टू वीक्स और मंथ जितना भी आप टाइम वियतनाम में हो सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी प्योरली बेस्ड आउट ऑफ माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ट्रैवलिंग ओवर देयर एंड आई होप यू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ वैल्यू आउट ऑफ इट लेट्स गेट इन टू इट वियतनाम इज अ लॉन्ग कंट्री राइट सो नॉर्थ टू साउथ जाने में ही इतना टाइम लग जाता है इन फैक्ट इट्स हार्ड टू टेल इवन द बेस्ट टाइम टू विजिट देयर फॉर दिस रीजन बिकॉज एज यू गो फ्रॉम नॉर्थ टू साउथ इवन द टेम्परेचर्स किन रिली चेंज सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट आप जिस भी टाइम पर जा रहे हो या जो भी डेस्टिनेशन आप अपने लिए फाइनल करते हो आई वुड रिकमेंड you to see the best time to visit those destinations in vietnam to get an idea about that also i have a budget video on vietnam already on the channel so this uh, mein maine share kiya hai ki aapka budget kaise reh sakta hai right from flights travel accommodation visa all the fixed and the variable expenses so make sure you check that out एंड अब हम बात करते हैं आइटनरी एंड टॉप थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू इन वियतनाम वैसे कोई रूल नहीं है कि आप नॉर्थ से साउथ करो या फिर वाइस ऑफ वर्सा लेकिन डिपेंड्स ऑन योर प्लान जैसे अगर आप वियतनाम के साथ कम्बोडिया और लाउस भी क्लब कर रहे हो तो इन मोस्ट केसेज यू विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हनॉय विच इज नॉर्थ ऑफ वियतनाम एंड देन यूल गो टू होचे मैन एंड देन टू कम्बोडिया एंड देन टू लाउस इन मोस्ट केसेज ऐसे ही रहता है इन तीनों कंट्रीज को कवर करना अगर आप सिर्फ वियतनाम जा रहे हो तो एक्चुअली इट डजेंट मैटर इफ यू गो फ्रॉम नॉर्थ टू साउथ और द ऑपोजिट फॉर दिस वीडियो लेट्स अज्यूम कि आप साउथ से जाते हो विच इज ऑल्सो वॉट I did and one thing that I really liked in that was um ki it just kept getting better like view wise view wise it kept getting better and you know I saw the best views and I was in the up north so that's one thing that maybe you know you can also keep in mind but uh, let's assume ki aap south mein aate ho ho chi minh city mein aap land karoge and ho chi minh city ke liye i would recommend you to keep two days because ek to aap aaye hi ho vietnam se ek din to aise you know samajhne mein chala jata hai country ko and just to explore the city on foot so ek din aap kar sakte ho ho chi minh city ka tour plus kuchi tunnels uske sath sath kuchi tunnels are very very famous and it's a very interesting tour in vietnam so i feel like you should include it when you're in ho chi minh city so ek din aap ho chi minh city ka tour karo plus go to kuchi tunnels and kuchi uh, tunnel ka dedicated video bhi hai mere channel pe so i'm going to leave all those videos in the description box below so you can check them out and dusre din aap ja sakte ho mekong delta mekong delta another uh, place that i really found was good and it's a very important region in vietnam more than 50% of the fish rice all of that in vietnam comes from mekong delta region and there are a lot of reasons why it's so significant um, so you should definitely do a tour of mekong delta and uh, uske liye mekong delta ke liye aapko ek tour book karna hoga to aap online ja ke dekh sakte ho group tour book kar sakte ho i traveled with gadt travel in fact most of the tours that i did in vietnam uh, were were with gadt travel i'm going to leave the link of some of those tours in this in the description box also so you can check them out and my experience traveling with them was pretty nice aapne dekha hoga mekong delta ke tour mein the guide we had was so funny cheerful and you know like knew so much about the place and i really liked the fact how responsible he was ki agar ek jagah se nikal ke dusri jagah hame time pe pahunchna hai to he you know made sure that we covered everything that day so that way i really recommend that uh, travel company uske baad further uh, north aane ke liye now we have two options agar aap ek beach person ho and you want to uh, visit some really beautiful beaches in vietnam then you have to go to nha trang so ho chi minh city se nha trang ek overnight train journey hai it costed us approximately 2100 indian rupees for that train journey it was like a 9 hour train journey and very convenient very nice second class ki ticket book ki thi 12 go asia website se and um, we reached natrang early in the morning around 4 5 am so uh, natrang ja sakte ho if you're a beach person and natrang is also one place where uh, scuba diving is very prevalent in vietnam agar main sab jagah dekhun to natrang is that one place i also wanted to do that and i did that in natrang you wouldn't expect such a beach a beach which is right in the city to be this clean and beautiful that's the first impression of natrang that you know um, that i had so natrang has this beach vibe and very chill and jab hum wahan gaye the to hame aur tourists bhi nahi mile i don't know if it was the timing or if natrang is one such place like that so that's about natrang and uh, dusra option hai dalat dalat is more of a hilly 
not exactly hilly but it has cool temperatures a uh, beautiful landscapes waterfalls you know other kind of things and i feel like na- dalat to definitely is touristy so uh, you can search for dalat i did not cover dalat i chose natrang and went there again dalat jane ke liye bhi aap ho chi minh city se ek overnight bus le sakte ho 1300 1400 rupees aapko padna chahiye but that's something that you can check uh, dalat jaake bhi aap do din spend kar sakte ho aur agar aapke 7 days hi hain to aap one day bhi rakh sakte ho for either of these two destinations fir natrang dalat aap chahe jahan pe bhi ho next place you have to you can visit uh, by an overnight bus so overnight bus aap online uh, book kar sakte ho and you can reach hoi an now no matter how many days you have in vietnam this is one place that i highly recommend you keep in your itinerary agar aapke paas kam time hai to aap natrang se actually a uh, flight bhi le sakte ho which is what i did so you can even take a flight to um, da nang which is the nearest airport from hoi an and why i say this is because hoi an has uh, beaches of course if you miss it in natrang you can always have beaches in uh, hoi an uh, it has a cafe culture it has romantic vibes it has history and you know like even hills are there very close to hoi an so a lot of things are there in hoi an itself hoi an mein aap bahut si aur cheeze kar sakte ho vegetable market hai there's this very famous boat some like boat basket ride also over there aapne bahut dekha hoga instagram pe i couldn't do it because i had other plans in hoi an and uh, food tours kar sakte ho aap so many things you can do in hoi an and uh, i feel like two days so you should have in hoi an hoi an se jo nearest airport hai wo da nang mein hai now da nang is the place where the famous um golden hand bridge is there vietnam ki bahut si photos mein aapne wo golden hand bridge dekha hoga so wo bana hills mein hai aur wo da nang se zyada pass padta hai to aap hoi an aur da nang ko aise bhi plan kar sakte ho that you have two days let's say one or two days in hoi an and the next day in da nang you can go stay there that's what we did we spent like two and a half days in hoi an and ek din we spent in da nang so hoi an aur da nang mein do se teen din spend karne ke baad uh, you can go to further north to the capital of vietnam which is hanoi Uh, एक और ऑप्शन है आपके पास हो यान से आप हुए भी जा सकते हो एच यू ई जो एक थ्री आवर्स के ही डिस्टेंस पे है एंड अदर प्लेस विल गेट कवर्ड एंड हुए इज वेरी फेम लाइक इफ यू हैव इंटरेस्ट इन आर्किटेक्चर इफ यू हिस्ट्री बाफ इवन द फूड देर इज क्वाइट ग्रेट ऑल द फूड इज ग्रेट एवरी वेयर इन वियतना बट स्टिल सो हुए भी एक जगह है जो आप कवर कर सकते हो ओनली इफ यू हैव मोर डेज अदरवाइज यू कैन जस्ट डायरेक्टली हेड टू हनॉय एंड हो यान से हनॉय की दूरी बहुत ज़्यादा है तो अगर आप बाय रोड देखोगे तो इट्स अप्रॉक् लाइक समवेयर अराउंड सेवनटीन आवर्स विच I'm assuming might not be feasible. So Hoi An se Hanoi, मुझे लगता है आप flight लेके जाओ. One thing about flights that I want to tell you here is कि अगर आप advance में थोड़ा सा advance में like at least a month in advance if you book your flights you can get really reasonable rates. Maybe even later you can get reasonable rates. Three thousand per flight का आप एक average लेके चल सकते हो. So uh, traveling via flights within Vietnam is also a very popular option. It saves a lot of time. सो होयान से मैंने भी ये किया था दानांग जो closest airport है दानांग से I took an uh, took a flight to Hanoi. And uh, Hanoi may I spend four days, but uh, you can also keep two, two and a half to three days also in Hanoi if you have less time. Hanoi is also the place where the famous Halong Bay cruise is there, and it's a beautiful cruise. It's a very popular thing to do in Vietnam, and for good reason. I recommend you definitely keep one full day for that cruise. And uh, wo bhi cruise up online like book kar sakte ho through various um, websites. I used G A T T Travel again. And Halong Bay cruise ke saath saath Nin Bin ka ek tour kar sakte ho. Nin Bin is a very beautiful village again. Lot of trekking opportunities over there. So that is something you can do. And uske baad jo aapke pas time bacha hoga, wo aap Hanoi me um, ek randomly just you know you can explore Hanoi. There's not in a lot to do in hanoi like there's this prison which was also a very interesting visit that prison in hanoi was so so eye opening you know like the things that i got to know over there the realities of how people used to live there and how they used to be treated over there and you know what all went during the french war during the vietnam war it was crazy along with that a lot of food Hanoi has a lot of food, different food, and आप notice करोगे कि south में जो for example जो national dish है Vietnam की pho, south में जो वो taste करती है और north में जो वो वो taste करती है that's actually quite different, which is very weird and interesting at the same time. So make sure that you have all the local dishes everywhere that you go in Vietnam. So this is how you can structure your itinerary. जैसे अगर मैं ten days की बात करूँ और अपने trip की बात करूँ, this is how I did it. Like I said in the video, two days in Ho Chi Minh City, two days in Nha Trang, uh, three days in Hoi An and Da Nang, and थ्री एंड हाफ टू फोर डेज इन हनॉय सो दैट्स हाउ आई स्ट्रक्चर्ड इट अगर आप सेवन डेज के लिए जा रहे हो तो मे बी यू कैन कीप टू डेज इन होचिमिन जस्ट वन इन नाट्रा 
Pakistan or Dalat, whichever you choose. Maybe just two days in Hoi An um, and the remaining two days in Hanoi. You need at least two days in Hanoi as well. So, in a week, you can cover these two places. And now I want to suggest some bonus places that are definitely worth checking out if you have more time. So, the first place is uh, Phu Quoc. Phu Quoc is an island south. You can take a flight from Ho Chi Minh City to Phu Quoc. Ke In fact, I think India se Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi ke saath saath, recently Da Nang and Phu Quoc mein bhi direct flight shuru hui hai. So you can check that out for yourself if you really want to just start the trip from Phu Quoc. But uh, Phu Quoc is basically an island and um, Vietnamese lo, lo, like among Vietnamese people it's very famous as this honeymoon place. Like that's what people used to tell us over there that a lot of people go there for honeymoon. So maybe if you're here for honeymoon maybe you can um, you know check out Phu Quoc Island for yourself. I think it is like this secluded island which has a very chill life the kind of island life that we all know and and uh, water activities, scope for that. So maybe you can keep two to three days over there if you have extra time. Uske saath saath, I didn't include it in my itinerary again because I didn't have much time. Uske saath saath, one place that I really, really wish that I had included is uh, Phong Na. Usme, th there is the world's largest cave over there in Phong Na. It's, I think it's called uh, Son Doong Cave. And wahan jana apne aap mein ek bahut bada adventure hai. You have to book with a company to go over there. And uh, again, you can keep two to three days extra if you want to cover that. Seems pretty interesting. And in fact, it opened to tourists only in 2013. So pretty new also that ways. And um, the third place is of course Sapa. Sapa is like further north from Hanoi and you can take an overnight train or bus from Hanoi and you can read Sapa and you need two to three days again uh, extra just for Sapa. It is beautiful, has these rice terraces, a uh, lot of scope for trekking and uh, if I have more time, like next time if I visit Vietnam, I am definitely going to include at least Sapa and Phong Na, if not um, Phu Quoc probably. Uh, for sure, I'm going to include these two places. So if you have more time, these are places that are worth noting down as well. And speaking of bonus, a few more bonus points for Vietnam in general. First of all, that very few people there understand English. So um, you need to have a Vietnamese English translator with you. Google Translate, obviously you can use when you have the internet, but you're not gonna have internet all the time. You might not. Just one day when my net pack was finished, the daily limit was finished. And I was at a store and I just couldn't use internet. I just couldn't talk to them and couldn't explain what I really wanted. So um, Vietnamese English translator, an offline translator hai. So make sure that you have that on you as well, just in case you don't have internet and you want to translate. The other thing is, if you're a vegetarian, then make sure you have the app called Happy Cow. Happy Cow is such a lifesaver. Uh, us app, you can see that you have vegetarian, vegan, whatever you have to select karna hai for yourself, you can select that and you will get a list of restaurants that are close to you and that fall in that category, along with a lot of reviews that people have taken, have given. So, uh, Happy Cow helped me a lot in finding out veg uh, restaurants near me. So, that's something that you can note. And finally, do some more research before you go. Vietnam has such interesting exotic things to offer like speaking of exotic the fruits over there the fruits are so delicious so different and if you're a vegetarian you probably you know sometimes you might just eat fruits in your meal so uh, although vegetarian is very easily available also in general that's something uh, snake wine snake wine is there in Vietnam and there are just so many interesting theories about it uh, I think it's more prevalent in the south of Vietnam so when you're there maybe you can try out snake wine uh, beer street Hanoi has this train street and beer street and where you can find beer for as low as I think 40 Indian rupees or something so it's very cool that entire street uh, bahar log stools and chairs laga ke baithe hote and they're just sipping beer having a really good time so that's very lit so do some more research of what you want to do within those places exactly I hope this video gave you a good rough idea of how you can just plan your Vietnam trip what all you can do within those places and uh, again always watch these videos with a pinch of salt because my traveling style could be completely different from yours and so it's important for you to do a little bit more research and uh, I'm going to come up with a lot of such videos and a lot of such guide videos are already on the channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any such helpful video about any destination. Press the bell icon to get, get notified and uh, that's it from my side. I will see you in the next one. Bye.